build a bridge towards a broken relationship. Broken relationships, broken family relationships. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All five channel names are pinned to the top of the comments section or the description box below. So building relationships that, rebuilding relationships that have been broken, is that always possible? Well, I think if there's a will, there often is a way, as grandma would say. It may not be the same relationship you had before. It may look entirely different. It may be at a different level, a different kind of relationship. But often, relationships can be rebuilt at some level. You know, broken relationships can happen at any point and at any time and in any way. It can happen in a family. It can happen in a workplace. It can happen in a neighborhood. It can happen in a social setting. So healing broken relationships is not always going to turn out to be the same relationship that we once had before. And it may not even actually turn back into a regular relationship. It may just be one of forgiveness. Because remember, forgiveness is essential for our well-being. We, we forgive others for ourselves. Because without forgiveness, we hold grudges. And when we hold grudges, that's negativity. And that can affect us in so many ways. So whether we go back into a relationship or don't go back into a relationship at, or at whatever level we go back into the relationship, forgiveness is key. And so building a bridge and healing broken relationships, you know, sometimes it can take a little while before we step back in in any way to a relationship. Sometimes the people that were at fault never admit that they were at fault. And sometimes we have to understand that they never will. Sometimes people want to blame other people when it was really them that did it. Sometimes it's a combination of both people. Sometimes it is one person that created the issues. And sometimes we've had to pull back from relationships because, well, those relationships became very unhealthy in any kind of way. And so when we have a family member especially, and I think most people want to heal broken family relationships, but it happens in just about every family at every level where relationships have been broken. And so do we go back to the same relationship? Sometimes that can happen, but often not. Often after a relationship has truly been broken and we both, both sides choose to restart a relationship, often it will look very different than the one before. And so we have to keep that in mind. We're not probably going back to the same relationship. We're going back to one that we're re re rebuilding, but in a brand new way. It's going to probably look very different. Forgiveness is key on everyone's part. Without forgiveness, there's going to be resentment. And with resentment, a relationship cannot be rebuilt. And so rebuilding a relationship, um, forgiveness, it doesn't matter whether the other person ex uh, uh, forgives us or, you know, as long as we've apologized if we truly did something wrong. Regardless of whether they forgive us, we have apologized for us if indeed it was our mistake. If it was their mistake, we forgive them, and yet they don't necessarily have to apologize. But remember, for us to go back into the relationship in any kind of meaningful way, um, both parties have to step up to the plate and admit if any part that they played in the issue. And so broken relationships can often be healed and rebuilt and often rebuilt in a brand new way. They will look maybe totally different or maybe a little bit similar, but not entirely. And so uh, healing a family broken relationship often is the most important because those are the relationships that we tend to care the most about. Healing work-related relationships often make it easier for us to at least be professional with each other. Healing neighborhoods or social relationships can also be very, very important or healing relationships with friends. We may not go back into that friendship at the level that we once were, but we may have a different kind of friendship or a new kind of friendship or 
maybe a limited friendship, or maybe just say hi now and then in passing, you know, or maybe we'll go back to the same old relationship once things are cleared up. It just all depends. But I think that when we do our part to heal a broken relationship that should be healed, remember there are some relationships that we should have never been a part of, that should have never been a part of us, and we can wish them well, we can be polite if we can be, but we need to stay away and not go back into that relationship. Not all relationships are meant to go back into. Um, and yet forgiveness is key because we do it for ourselves. So we start with forgiveness or apologies. We start with um, whether the other person responds to it or not in the way that we think that they should. We've done our part and then it becomes up to them as well. And if they choose not to, they choose not to but we've done our very best. And if they choose to, sometimes it's a step at a time. It's small steps to determine what that new relationship will look like. Okay, from my house to yours, may Heavenly Father bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again. And I do hope you like, share, subscribe. Hope to talk to you then. Bye-bye.